What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel, Escape the Matrix. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about escaping the 9 to 5 life and all the things I do in order to get there. So if you are interested in escaping the 9 to 5 life, make sure you subscribe to my channel just so you can see my journey as I approach that goal of mine. So today we're going to be talking about how much did it cost me to charge my Tesla for a year. So it's been just about a year that I've owned my Tesla and I got it last August and it is August. I got the car in August of 2023 and now it is August of 2024. So today I'm going to go over how much did it cost me to charge my Tesla for the whole year. So on the side somewhere, either side, um, I'm going to put the screen recording of all the months and how much each month cost me for charging. Overall, at the end of the year, it came out to $2,447.87 for the whole year of charging my Tesla Model Y. One thing though, that is not the final cost because I have a program over here in New York. First of all, it costs about 19.6 or 19.7 cents per kilowatt here in New York City. But we also have a program called Smart Charge New York, which gives you incentives every month for charging your car. And you get more incentives if you charge your car during off-peak hours. And off-peak hours are between the hours of like 12 a.m. to about 6 a.m. You want to try to charge your car during those times in order to get the most incentives. In the summer, if you avoid peak charging, which is when the grid is being overused and everybody's awake and they're using energy. So when everybody is also using electricity and a lot of electricity in general is being used around your city and everything that is peak hours you want to charge your car during off peak hours and also like i said that program gives you incentives for charging during off peak hours i also get 25 dollars a month during the summertime for charging at off peak hours so 12 a.m to 6 a.m so throughout the whole year i ended up getting eight hundred and seven dollars and fifty eight cents in incentives and i'll also post a screenshot of the incentives that i got and the total that i got since enrolling in the program um, if anybody does want to sign up for the smart charge new york so unfortunately i haven't been able to find a direct link with my referral bonus i'll put the link for signing up in the description unfortunately that's not specifically my link but if you do want to help out my channel and also help yourself out because you get 25 dollars referral bonus for signing up under my link my code for the program is 119048 when you are signing up you will see on the bottom that there is an area for the referral code once you get to that spot make sure you enter 119048 in order for both of us to get $25. So now when you minus $2,447 from the $807 in incentives that I got, for the year, my total cost of charging came out to $1,640. To put it in perspective, I drove 22,175 miles. So that comes out to seven cents a mile per mile, which I think is a pretty reasonable amount for you to be driving a tesla let's compare that to some other cars for example right now my tesla is actually in the shop so let's compare it to the current car that i have which is a audi a4 as you can see over here on this audi a4 i get about 19.4 miles per gallon with this car and that's the long-term history of this car even before i've had it so now I drove 22,175 miles. Now, if we were to divide that 22,175, if we divide that number by 19.4, which is the MPG on this car, it would mean for the equivalent amount of miles, we would have to get 1,143 gallons. This car actually takes super, but I'm just gonna do it for just about any other car, right? and let's say that it is regular gas and regular gas right now here in new york city costs about 
$3.30 per gallon. For the equivalent amount of miles, this car would have taken 1,143 gallons, right? If we multiply that by $3.33, that comes out to $3,772 worth of gas. Now, if we also take that amount that we spent, which is $3,772, if we go and divide that by the 22,175 miles that we've driven, we see that this car actually comes out to 17 cents per mile. That is 10 cents more per mile than the Tesla. In my opinion, the Tesla is a way better car than this. Let's also try to compare the Tesla's 7 cents per mile to a car like the Prius, which is awesome for its gas mileage and we all know how good Priuses are on gas. So now if we take that same 22,175 miles and then we divide that by 50, it comes out to 443 gallons. If you multiply 443 gallons by the price of each gallon, which is $3.30, it comes out to $1,463. Now, if we take that $1,463 and then divide it by the amount of miles, which is 22,175, we see that the Prius is slightly cheaper to operate than the Tesla Model Y. It comes out to 6.6 .6 cents per mile versus on the Tesla, it comes out to 7.3 cents per mile which is literally a difference of less than a penny. It is 0 0.007 cents difference. So the question comes down to, do you wanna drive a Tesla or do you wanna drive a Prius, right? So for about the same, less than a penny, less than a penny per mile, you can drive the Tesla for just about the same cost as you can drive a Prius. And I don't know about you guys, I would definitely prefer to drive a Tesla over a Prius. To be fair though, without the smart charge incentive, it would actually cost about four cents more per mile. It would cost about 11 cents without the smart charge program. So the smart charge program really does help out a lot, lowering the cost significantly from 11 cents to seven cents. But that is also because in New York, it is about 19 cents per kilowatt. So depending on what area of the country you're in, it might be cheaper for you even without the incentive program. But if you are in New York and you're looking to save money and you also use Con Edison for your electricity, make sure you sign up for Smart Charge New York. And if you are looking to make an extra $25 for signing up, make sure you use my link, which I'm going to leave in the description. But remember it's not only the link you have to enter my code which is 119048 once you enter my code we both get 25 dollars guys i hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown and i hope it brought you guys some clarity as far as comparing a tesla model y to a regular vehicle and i don't know about you guys i kind of am loving how cheap it is to operate the tesla if i can operate a tesla model y for about the same cost as a Prius, sign me up. Sign me up, up, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you guys did, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed for a lot more great content. And until next time, Escape the Matrix out.